In 2014 to 2019, amidst the new pressures of climate change and the need to achieve Agenda 2030's pledge to leave no one behind, IFAD continued extensive reforms to its structure and operations, all the while remaining firmly committed to improving the lives of the rural poor. In this rapidly evolving context, the Independent Office of Evaluation of IFAD IOE, plays a more critical role than ever, with its mission to promote accountability and learning by providing independent evaluations of IFAD's work. IOE's evaluations have become a potent force for change in IFAD. IOE's evaluation manual was updated in 2015 to reflect latest trends and practices in international development and evaluation. In the last five years, IOE performed 92 evaluations at corporate, country and project level, as well as theme-based evaluations. Many country-level evaluations were conducted for the first time, expanding IOE's reach over vastly diverse contexts, such as Angola, Cambodia, Cameroon, Peru and Turkey. Two project performance evaluations were conducted jointly with other international financial institutions, with real benefits for knowledge sharing and cost reduction. IOE's evaluations led to a corporate strategy for engaging in fragile situations, a requirement to address natural resource management and adaptation to climate change in every project design, and an assessment of IFAD's financial architecture to ensure the fund's financial sustainability. IOE's evaluations also promoted institutional learning by exploring cross-cutting topics such as gender equality, technical innovation and better targeting of the rural poor. In 2014 to 2019, IOE's annual reports on the results and impact of IFAD operations address themes such as sustainability of the benefits of IFAD's activities, targeting the rural poor and the relevance of IFAD's operations. Robust and diverse partnerships are essential to achieve the SDGs. In the last five years, IOE forged strong bonds with many evaluation organizations. In 2015, IOE and the evaluation officers of the other Rome-based agencies organized the Technical Seminar on Enhancing the Evaluability of Sustainable Development Goal 2 at IFAD headquarters. At the seminar, it was recognized that to meet the new challenges posed by SDG2, evaluation must continue playing a crucial role in generating and sharing knowledge widely. In 2017, Mr. Oscar Garcia, Director of IOE, chaired the Evaluation Cooperation Group of Multilateral Development Banks. As such, IOE organized the high-level session on the role of independent evaluation in transforming multilateral development banks. The meeting gathered leaders and visionaries in the fields of international development and finance. Mr. Garcia was Vice Chair of the United Nations Evaluation Group from 2016 to 2018, when the new norms and standards for evaluation in the UN system were launched. IOE strives to engage with as many evaluation actors as possible and with the general public. In 2014 to 2019, IOE introduced many new communication tools, including a lively social media presence, infographics and newsletters. In 2018, it launched Roots, a podcast series that brings us rural communities' voices on how IFAD projects affect their lives. In 2017, IOE held the International Conference on Information and Communication Technologies for Evaluation. Attended by over 200 experts, the conference explored the latest trends in the use of ICTs in evaluation. In 2018 and 2019, IOE held book launches for two cutting-edge volumes published with Routledge. The first, Evaluation for Inclusive and Sustainable Rural Transformation, which discusses the mission and methodologies of independent evaluation at IFAD, and the second, Information and Communication Technologies for Development Evaluation, which gives insight into the implications of new technologies for development evaluation in light of Agenda 2030. In 2019, IOE, with the World Bank IEG and IDEAS, launched the Biennial Evaluation for Transformational Change Award for outstanding evaluations of development interventions that are linked to the SDGs and lead to transformational change. 
Agenda 2030 and its 17 SDGs give renewed urgency to IOE's work. In line with the external peer review of IOE's operations, IOE will continue responding flexibly to the development context, also by harnessing new technologies. At the same time, it will remain committed to excellence in evaluation in the service of improving the lives of the rural poor.